うんうんうんあああああ excuse me i s t a f sighing and putting those sighs on Pornhub I'm eating a bacon and cheese and cucumber sandwich Hey, right, uh, it's lovely. What are you on about? Ah. Mm hmm. Bacon, cheese, and cucumber. That is my uh, steps, and you can hear here. Okay, so. Huh? Mm. I don't know how this is going to go. I think I've recorded the wrong way, but who cares? Mm. Oh, shoot. I've been just talking to myself. Maybe we should roll an intro. Yeah, let's roll, roll an intro. I was going to be doing a video, wasn't I? Uh, uh. Okay, first, put the, the bacon sandwich down. <sighs> well, hello down there. Let me just do my manly stance. Mm. Fertless, I come to you, not in a time of need, as per se, but as a <laughs> YouTuber, just doing my hmm, virtue signalling self. Get me some virtue signalling points. Yeah. Not, not really. Um, <laughs> oh, magnitude! You never get to the point. Long ass tangent. Should I just hit the description? Yeah, just hit the description. That's why I put C description, and then you can just skip this video altogether. But if you want to hear me just waffle on a load of crap and um, whatnot, keep watching. Yeah. I need that bacon sandwich. Jump cut, jump cut. I'm sorry, guys. I just. Oh. Mm. Oh. Gotcha. oh, my God. You know, I was raised a vegetarian. I know. I know. When I stopped being a vegetarian after my mum had a stroke because she was a vegetarian but didn't like vegetables, i.e., lived off cheese and eggs and only, and, well, mm hmm. Caused to become anemic and therefore led on to a stroke. I wasn't a vegetarian anymore and I can't get enough of certain things like bacon, on cheese, on bread, a bit of tomato ketchup with some cucumber. So why am I here? Why am I standing over you looking at the bottom of my nasal passages? Well, I need a favour from you for this, but there's no point doing this if you're not interested. Don't worry, if you're not interested, you're not interested. This isn't really for my audience but I know <sighs> about four years back when I first started once upon a time I didn't really have many subscribers all right in a grand scheme of things I still don't really have many subscribers and what I don't understand is about my channel most is I was grown and grown and grown and grown and suddenly stop I stopped growing after YouTube had a policy change I don't know what happened but cut a long story short I hit 4,300 and something subscribers, and it stopped growing. And I don't know why, because I get notifications all the time, uh, emails telling me that people, new people, are subscribing to my channel. 
But the figure doesn't really rise. It sort of goes up two, and then three unsubscribe. When it goes up five, four unsubscribe. Then I got two more, but two more unsubscribe. It just sort of levels out. Yeah, nothing sus about that. Look, I understand my channel is fucking Marmite. Some people love it. Most people hate. <laughs> that's fine. I get it. And that's okay. I was never going to be a YouTuber in the first place. You know this. It was one rant video. I was done. But demand asked for more. A thousand videos later, <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> Making awful videos like this. I mean, I try to be creative. Look at my camera angle. You know, you're looking at the ceiling and I'm towering over you. I'm trying to be creative. I'm trying, okay? But I'm not very skillful in, in, in this grand scheme of things. Okay, so what a lot of people like about my channel, uh, especially first generation furnaces, they're there from the start. They see me grow. Sorry guys, I don't seem to be growing any further. This is it. This is as far as I go. 4,300 subs, maybe 4.4 if I'm lucky, but I ain't going no further, am I? I'm not going to be the Proven Demons story, who started way before me, and, you know, overtook me because he took advantage of what was trending on YouTube, the entertainment, and doing videos that YouTube likes, and so on, and, yeah, the dude's on 172 thousand subscribers as of this video probably a lot more than that by now that's fine I wish him well like I said I've laid off him because entertainment man you know fine this isn't that type of video I need that bacon sandwich <sighs> Oh, chocolate! Chocolate! Um. Okay, no more. I'm done. I'm not gonna eat any more bacon sandwich. Control yourself, Ultra Magnitude. It's a fucking bacon sandwich. Anyone I think you're having the best sex of your life. <laughs> Alright, stop! Oh my god. Third lesson. I'm appealing to those who don't just watch the paranormal channels. And to be honest with you, some would say, my channel's not really paranormal. No, 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 it's not. I mean, he does some spirit book sessions, but not a lot. And if he's live, all he does is read the comments in, in, the, in the chat. He doesn't really concentrate on the spirit box. You know, he's not really pure, this sort of thing. He never goes anywhere either. He never goes to... Wanted locations, you know, me, me, me. All right, valid criticism. But I'm appealing to those, nothing's to do with the paranormal, but to those who like to be at the forefront of something. Grassroots, if we'll say. So, like this. This is more for first generation furthest. Do you remember when you first subbed to me? I had like 50 subs, or, or 10 subs, or whatever. Wasn't it exciting watching me grow? And you all turn around and agreed that I need to burp. <coughs> that it was exciting to say, hey, I was there from day one. Day damn one. Do you want to know something about Mr. Magnitude? Obviously, Mr. Magnitude doesn't just watch paranormal videos. I watch a wide array of videos, just like my music taste. It's fucking wide. We all know I'm a big Manic Street Preachers fan. But yeah, I've got classical music. I was just talking about this like not so long ago, but like I listened to Lead Belly. Lead Belly, motherfucker. Yeah, I like Lead Belly. Sue me. <sighs> to Green Day to Lead Belly. It's very wide. It's the same in my YouTube taste. I come across a video not so long ago because I watch a YouTuber called. Pleasant Green. 
Pleasant Green deals with scams, but he's a bit different, because what Pleasant Green does, he's a nice guy. A very nice guy. Scammer says, oh, I don't know, give, you know, why have you me the money because I have a million pound waiting for you, you just need to do the sign over fee or whatever. And then Pleasant Green will reach out to him and say, hey man, I know this is a scam, but how about I uh, send you a camera and then you can take pictures of where you live in Nigeria and we can sell that as a book and then we can both win together and oh, it's such a beautiful heart telling story. It is. It really is. But, if you watch these videos of Pleasant Green, and no disrespect to the dude, it does feel a bit scripted. It really does. And I'm not saying it's not, it is. However, my man who I'm about to shill in a minute, and the whole purpose of this video, and it's not because he featured my comment on one of his videos, I promise you, because I've already done a post on this already. I just feel he deserves it. Is that... Nice people do exist. This is a message to Vic. Vic Blanco Productions. No, prods. No, he doesn't prod people. I think prod stands for productions. Hence why I just said productions. But in case you're unsure, eh, you can visit the channel in a minute with the links and work it out yourself. But I found Vic via Pleasant Green. He showed about three seconds worth of his video, and it just tickled me seeing Pleasant Green's head on top of a snake. <laughs> I sort of felt the same way. And I thought I need he didn't link the video, but I thought I, had to, I have to search for this damn video. What, what the fuck? So I searched for this video, and I come across Vic Blanco Productions. And I thought I'd watch his channel. He hasn't got many uploaded, he hasn't started long. He's got, well, as of doing this video, he's got 92 subs, I believe. And I think the last five or seven or so are probably my own, but... Either way, I thought I would, um, you know, just just have a gander at his content. And I watched, and I watched... Yeah, his Pleasant Green Expos is, is pretty fucking funny. Hilarious. And like I say, this is nothing to do with the paranormal. Now, maybe you... Uh, are sub to me because you like my zany personality, my wacky camera angles, and all of a sudden strange edits, uh, and creativity, and in, in the knowledge that's all done on a damn fucking five-year-old phone. Whatever it is, you sub to me. And usually those that have subbed the longest have seen me grow from the start. You've seen my content change. You've seen me grow. You've seen me get an ego. Oh, that's not so good, Mr. Order of Magnitude. you got an ego. Yeah, I know. So, I thought I would try and give this back a little bit, because it's exciting watching a channel start from zero, going to hero. And I think Vic deserves it. Now, this has nothing to do with being a virtue signaling cunt, because Mr. Order of Magnitude, you know, hates virtue signaling. I've pointed this out loads of times, I can't stand it. Like, oh my god, virtue signaling, it's one of my pet peeves. It's nothing to do with because this man is a man of colour. I had no idea what fucking colour his skin is before anyone points this out. I'm building a straw man here because I'm preemptive striking because some people may say this. I actually thought he was a white dude, but he's not, he's a black dude. But it makes no fucking difference what fucking colour skin he is, he can be bloody Pakistani, it makes no difference. The point is, I watched his Pleasant Green video, and the others, and he doesn't give too much away because he doesn't even show himself. It's an avatar. But the dude has some skills in editing, clearly. Certainly much better than me, right? God, my camera angles are shit. But, oh, I think this dude has potential. And I don't think he's going to be a Jake Paul. I don't think he's going to get millions of subs. But he deserves more than 90 fucking subs. This dude deserves to overtake me in the grand scheme of things. I'm never jealous if you overtake me. Uh, uh, do you think I'm jealous of Proven Demons? There's 172,000 subs. Do you think I'm jealous of that? Where's that bacon sandwich? I need my bacon sandwich. No. I don't give a fuck about Proving Demons 172,000 subs. 
he sold his soul. The dude wanted to be real, and he had some very good spirit box sessions. Top sessions. Most of them are deleted. For fear of any reprisal on the format he set up and... This isn't a Proven Demons fucking critique video, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jay Station. But I thought I'd give you the opportunity, Thirtless, or anyone else that is watching this, to sub to Vink, Vic, as in Bic, as in, you know, the razor or the pen, B-I-C, but with a V. He even does that and has the logo, then crosses out with a V. Hey, man, we have those in our country, too, in the UK. Vic Blanco Prods. Pr prod. I know he likes his sexual innuendos in the fucking uh, Witter account, so, you know. Let's... <laughs> I'm fucking with you and I'm trying to make this video as long as possible because i got nothing, nothing for a new upload to mess with you and fuck with you. So, maybe you've turned off now, maybe you haven't. But if you have turned off, I am hoping that you at least look in the description and go check out Vic Blanco Prods, check him out, okay? 